Welcome to another episode of Beer Buzz. This episode is brought to you by Ritual Brewing Company in Redlands, California, and Drobo, smart storage that grows with you and protects what matters. Welcome to another episode of Beer Buzz. The Beer Buzz Network is a collaboration of both audio and video shows, beer reviews, a blog, and events. Today, we have a Firestone Walker 805, and though we don't live in the 805, we have some. And it's damn delicious. Yes. Double mm-hmm. fist. Incredibly good. Who's yeah. down? Hey, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers, everybody. That is actually really good. It is really good. Firestone is actually expanding, and from what I hear, the whole beach area is going to be uh, serving some of the 805 that has an already on tap. I would hope so because it's delicious and they need to yeah. have it. it. It's really, really good. Firestone yeah. is really good for the barrel aged beers. 805 is just tasty as hell. There's a lot of flavors you get from this beer. Oh, yeah. What do you, what do you get off the nose? Mm, smells like citrus a little to it, though, as well. Yeah, yeah probably from the hops. You're right. Yeah, from the hops as Small well. Small little, little hop profile. Yeah. Yeah, Matt Brendelson, their head brewer over there, really good brewer. I mean, this yeah. guy is just good. Their anniversary beers. Phenomenal. They're really good. The Velvet Merkin just came out yeah. a little while ago. Such a good beer. Um, definitely, if you guys are in the neighborhood, anywhere that you can get Firestone Walker, you can now get it in Texas, believe it or not. Firestone Walker beer is not the 805 at least, but you can definitely get their anniversary beers, all their uh, really good stuff. Pick up some of Firestone Walker. David Walker's a really cool cat. Everybody there, shout out. Cheers. Cheers to Firestone, Firestone Walker. <clears throat> That's actually really, really good. Yeah, you get the kick of that. So we uh, decided to travel local, and we stopped by a local brewery in Anaheim, California, and it's called Noble Ale Works. If you haven't stopped by there, it's very good. Really got good. Been, oh. They're they're naughty sauce. It's That's pretty naughty. Thing. Yeah, it really is. It's pretty naughty. Can't it's fair. Yeah, no, it's cool because I've never had a like a like a stout that's been um, like like light. It's it's plus. What is it? A golden milk stout, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not like a dark like oatmeal or like cream stout that you would imagine. It would yeah. Be, but it's very, very light. It's a very light stout. Not yeah. only that, but you're also getting a milk stout infused with three pounds per barrel of Guatemalan coffee. I mean, it's awesome. Evan Price, the brewer over there, has been. I mean, just awesome. He's been working with one of the the roast masters of Duggan Portella Coffee Lab to actually create a really, really, really cool drinking experience. Wow. I know, awesome. right? I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's really neat. Um, they, they, I mean, it's a style with oats and lactose instead of using like the roasted grain. It's really cool because it adds, basically you end up getting a, a beer almost this color, slightly darker, but you're getting a stout. And like for me, it was mind blowing. When it's I had it. Stout flavored, but light color. Yeah, yeah, oh. pretty much. And then imagine all that on nitro. It was really good. Just tops it all off. Oh yeah. Hence yeah. a very naughty. <laughs> so I'll cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> cheers to that. So anyways, stop by Noble Ale Works in Anaheim, California, and let us know what you think. So we're in Anaheim, California at Noble Ale Works. There's some great brews here from what we're told, and there's something called naughty sauce that we just have to try. So stick with us, grab a beer, it's gonna be a great show. Alright guys, so I'm here with Evan Price, the head brewer for Noble Ale Works. Hi. Cheers. Hmm, that's good. So I have the naughty sauce, and this is one of your guys' newest beers, right? Um, I Somewhat. would say it's the newest beer, but we have been getting um, a lot more attention with it as okay. time goes on for sure. Is it because it's naughty? Uh, I think everything that we do is naughty. Oh, sure. nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you know, we don't really quite play by the rules. Yeah, I know, because you, you're drinking the English 101, right? Yeah. Now, this is an English uh, pub style kind of an ale. This is a great beer, though, because it doesn't take your traditional boring, just, uh, ale. I mean, you guys, it, it's complex, but at the same time, to style. It's a great beer. Thank you. What do you guys do with that? What, what makes it unique? Uh, I think one of the things that makes it very unique is that we are using, um, uh, Simpsons Marisotter, it's really incredible. Uh, 
malted barley from England. Uh, all their caramelized malts are also uh, from the same maltster. Okay. Um, we use uh, two different um, American hop varieties, Golding and Cascade, okay. um, in order to get more of this slightly more bright hop character than what is uh, traditional because uh, we kind of felt like that would actually go better with the, the malt profile okay. than, um, than the traditional Fuggle or something like that. Or some boring of these English, hop. Yeah, some of these English grown <laughs> ones. The boring that hop. Are, um, yeah, just a little more earthy. Okay. Yeah, because you can taste a small, you know, hint note on it, but it doesn't overpower the beer either. It's, it's there, but it isn't like all up in your face like pine, you know? For this beer, we actually, uh, we wanted to serve it on nitro um, specifically to make it more pub-like, more cask-like. Right. Um, in order to uh, kind of serve it, as the English would say, extra smooth. Okay. Sweet, man. So what kind of beers do you guys have going on here? Tell me more about this brew house. Um, we do uh, we do four beers throughout the year. Okay. Um, we, do it, um, we do Pistol Whipped. Czech style Pilsner, but we do it with New Zealand uh, New Zealand hops. Oh, sweet! Um, so it's kind of a, a, a take on the Czech style. Okay. Um, we do an American style pale ale called uh, Breakaway Pale Ale. That's a good pale. Thank you. That's a good pale. <clears throat> we do a uh, Big Wig IPA, an American IPA. Big Wig IPA. Big Wig. Where'd that yeah. name come from? Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like most of our most of our beer <laughs> names just kind of it just happened, happened uh, through usually a drunk conversation or something oh, epic. like that. Okay. Know? So how many barrels are you guys coming through here? Like, how big is this brew house? What's um, going on? So we have a 15 barrel brew house, um, and uh, right now I'd say we're looking at for 2013 to do around 1,300 beer barrels. Wow. Um, and then. With these two new tanks get, uh, getting going, uh, we're going to be getting those plumbed in real, real soon here. Those, uh, that's going to bump us up to around 2,600. Right on. Um, for, for 2014. Okay. Well, I've been hearing great things. Hopefully, you guys will expand and expand because you guys are doing great. So, thanks for taking the time. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Jerry, the owner and founder of uh, Noble Ale Works. Man. Yeah, that's what they say that. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I know, right? Yeah. He's just a guy that works here, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so, I mean, this place is great. You guys have such a selection of beer, and it isn't just your standard beers. And um, one thing I did notice, you have a tab that says Bud Light. Why does it say Bud Light? Uh, that's our water. Oh. So that's how we that's it funny. Up, so. <laughs> that's kind of funny, man. <laughs> So, I mean, this place is great. It's located in Anaheim, California, and I think you guys chose a great location. Yeah, we did. You know, we kind of picked this location because of, obviously, the sporting was really cool. We got a 10-minute walk to Honda Center, a 10-minute walk to Angel Stadium, mm -hmm. and uh, we do get the crowds before the games, which, so it's kind of nice. We already have that cool. built-in audience. Mm -hmm. um, we had that from the get-go, smaller. Obviously, as we've been here for longer, it's, it's, it's exponentially uh, grown. So. That's cool, man. Cool. So, what's, what's in the works next? Because you guys, I mean, I hear nothing but good things about you guys, dude, and... It's it's just good stuff. What, what do you guys have planned next? You guys expanding? You guys gonna? We you guys added two sixty barrel fermenters. Cool. Um, those are uh, took us about a year after Evan got here to get those in line and rolling, which is fairly quick for us. Okay. And we grew at a really slow pace. Um, once those get online, mm -hmm. three months later, we're looking at getting a few more. Just I mean, the more that's cool, just, man. We can't make enough beer right now for our distributor. That they is a good problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That <laughs> it is. It, it, it's great. It, it's. You know, I think that we're pissing people off sometimes, but I can't. We can't help. We're growing at a pace that we're comfortable with. Uh -huh. We don't want to go out there and grow too fast and have our product suffer. Gotcha. Okay, cool, man. So, I mean, if anybody wants to come down to the tap room, you guys do something really unique on Wednesdays. You guys do movie nights. Yeah, yeah, which we started really cool. uh, three weeks ago and we did our uh, uh, release of Naughty Sauce. So, okay. Um, <laughs> we, did the, um, we, we started. We started it uh, that night just to kind of kick it off. Bought a license to show any DVD we can throughout the year. Cool. And then uh, it's kind of cool. We see like 50 people in here hanging out watching movies in this place. Just Sweet, man. Shares or whatever. So it's, it's pretty neat. Right on, dude. 
Cool, man. So if anybody wants to come down, what's the address? Uh, 1621 South Sinclair Street. Uh, okay. We're really close to Catella and 57. Sweet. And you guys are on what? Facebook, Twitter, I mean, all that stuff, right? Yeah, Instagram? Yeah, social media drives this, this industry pretty big. It's, cool. It's, we we kind of learned that quickly. So we had a vote on uh, beerbuzz.com, and we actually let a lot of our viewers kind of enter this vote as to our new program. And our new program that we have going on at Beer Buzz is essentially the Beer Buzz approved stickers and notifications. And there's only a select breweries that actually get these. So from everybody at Beer Buzz and apparently everybody that watches wow. Beer Buzz. How cool, man. You're Beer Buzz approved, my friend. <laughs> so. I hope it's a brewery, not me. But uh, <laughs> no, it's just him. He's only Beer Buzz approved. Wow, cool, man. Thank so you. congratulations for uh, making it, man. And Good times. Thank you so much, man. No this worries. Awesome. No worries. So all cheers to you. Once and once more. Cheers to everybody that voted, and um, definitely stop by Noble Oil Works. It's good beer. Excellent. Get some of the naughty sauce. <laughs>